Consider the good news of the gospel. Jesus Christ died for you. What more does God have to do to demonstrate his love for you than dying for you? Soldiers, I love them. They sacrificed their lives for us. No greater love has any man than he who lays down his life for a friend. Jesus laid down his life for enemies. We hated him. We shaked our fist at God, and he died for us anyway. And no greater act of kindness has ever been done for you. And you should not repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ because you're afraid of hell. You should be afraid of hell, but that's not why you should repent and put your trust in Jesus. You should repent and put your trust in Jesus because he has been so kind to save you from hell. You should run to him, not because you're scared, but you should run to him because he's so amazing that he would do that for you. Maybe when you went to church as a kid, they scared you, and I'm sorry. The gospel message, yeah, it's scary because hell is horrible. But the gospel message is one of kindness, that God wants to rescue you. He wants to save you because he loves you despite you. And maybe when you went to church as a kid, you made some sort of profession of faith. I am certain here in the Bible Belt, there are many of you who walked an aisle. You maybe said the sinner's prayer and you repeated after somebody else. But you were never presented the gospel rightly. Or maybe you were told, come to Jesus and he'll make you healthier. He'll make your life better or he'll give you money. That's a lie. It's just all wrong. The gospel message is this. God is perfect. You're not. God will give you what you deserve. But instead of giving you what you deserve, he would like to give you mercy. He would like to show you grace. And it is a message of kindness that should stir you to desire to turn from your sins. To throw them down, to run from them, because they're not as good as Jesus. Sex isn't as good as Jesus. Money isn't as good as Jesus. Fun isn't as good as Jesus. Getting your high fancy job isn't as good as Jesus. He's the best thing, and you should run to him because he is good. That's the message of the gospel. And if you're hearing my words today, I've got some bad news and good news for you. If you reject what I am saying to you today based on the authority of the Bible, your hell will be hotter because now you have more knowledge and you will have trampled on the gospel pearl. The best thing in heaven is Jesus Christ and he desires to forgive you and if you reject it, you will be committing the greatest sin in the universe. Murder is awful, it's nothing like rejecting the good news. Rape is terrible, it's nothing like rejecting the good news. If you reject this good news, that is the greatest crime you can commit and your hell will be hotter. But the good news is, you have rejected it, but he'll still forgive you. You have sinned against you, and he will still forgive you. And if you have looked at porn, he will forgive you. And if you have had sex out of marriage, he will forgive you. If you have aborted your baby, he will forgive you. Your sins are not greater than the Savior. His mercy extends beyond your sins. Oh! Imagine my surprise that you're still here. Hey, if you'd like more Wretched, because apparently you've got enough free time, would you like this video? Subscribe to this channel, and we will give you Wretched till it's coming out of your nose.